So we see in the 2020 report card that water quality has improved throughout the length of the estuary. It's really been a stepwise progression of improving um, the level of pathogens in the waterways. Those changes have been through things like um, putting in the detention basin that's in Margaret Street, through changes to the sewage treatment plants where there's been better processing of, this, of the effluent that comes out of the sewage pipes. When Killer Fatty was um, diverted to Tea Tree Bend, that also had major changes. We're finding now about 90 to 95% of the dairy farms within the catchment area have undertaken significant work to fence out waterways to stop uh, stock accessing the waterways. At Tea Tree Bend, we've decreased our nitrogen load by up to 50%. We are working on improving that, but also at Tea Tree Bend we've uh, improved our total phosphorus in the effluent as well, so we've reduced that by approximately 50% as well. While we know that pathogen levels have actually decreased substantially over time, there's still a lot of work to do. In the grazing landscape, um, we're looking at removing stock from streams, so removing that direct access to reduce the level of pathogens that might find their way through to the waterway. In the dairy it's very similar but we add to that some effluent management system uh, upgrades and management practices to try and improve the efficiency those systems are, are working at. In the urban landscape we look at our stormwater networks and how we can reduce the amount of contaminants that may be coming from our stormwater networks. At the moment there's a, a large scale investment going into um, sewage intrusion. So through the River Health Action Plan and the funding that's come from the City Deal, City of Launceston, West Tamar Council and NRM North are separating where we've got issues of sewage entering into our stormwater system where it flows directly into the estuary and obviously causes those effects. So over the last 12 months through the River Health Action Plan we have signed up over 300 kilometres of riverside fencing to eliminate stock access with 150 already delivered in the first 12 months. The long term plan is 720 odd kilometres of fencing. The types of projects that are included are upgrades to pump stations, um, building and improving storages in the network because if you can store the water um, during a rain event then once the rain goes down we can pump that through to the treatment plant afterwards and uh, bigger pipes so that we can actually convey more water to the treatment plant and a little bit of money for a, an upgrade at the treatment plant to help with nutrient removal.